Hello, Tadpjørs here. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to add bleed to an Illustrator document. So without further ado, let's get right into it. The first thing you want to do is to, of course, open Illustrator. From here, we want to create a new document. You can do that by pressing on this create new, or you can use the keyboard shortcut control N. And this new document will pop up. In here, you can set the size of your document. And if you go down to here, you can see that here is where you can set your bleed. So let's set this to 10. And it will set 10 pixels bleed in the top, bottom, right and left. If you want to set more bleed, let's say to the bottom, you can unlink this by just clicking on this icon right here. And you can change change it to something else. I always have this on linked, so it's the same for all of the sites. But let's say we want to set this to 10. And now we can just press create. And the document we have created has now a bleed, as you can see right here. The bleed is this red border right here. Let's say we have an existing document, but there isn't any bleed. You don't have, have to create a new document to change this. As an example, in this document, we want to add a bleed and we didn't do it in the beginning. If you want to change this, you want to go up in file and choose document setup. The keyboard shortcut for that is alt control P. And just press on this and this document setup, as you can see right here, will now appear. And in here, it is basically the same where the bleed is right here and you can change the top, bottom, left and right. And you also have the link button right here so you can make all the settings the same. Let's just set this to 10 as we did before. Just like this and press OK. And as you can see right there, the bleed is now active on our Illustrator document. And so simple is that. That is how you add bleed to your Illustrator document. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video and comment down below what video we should do next time. That was all for now. See you in the next one.